Should we talk about the Ted DiBiase Jr. indictment thing? Or we've more oh, or less, yeah, that, that. I was going to say, more or less covered it, haven't we, in previous episodes? Or have we, we have more? covered it, but when's the trial? Oh, it doesn't. <coughs> I'm sorry to say, it doesn't say <coughs> when the trial is. I think he's going to jail. Let me read you this then. All right, read me that. So this was from, I believe, like justice.com or just, justice.org or something. Mm-hmm. It's a very official sounding. A federal indictment was unsealed today in Mississippi, charging a former professional wrestler with misappropriating millions of dollars in federal safety net funds and intended for needy families and low income individuals in Mississippi. Now, we know all this. We've been through this a load of times. Uh, I'm going to try and skip ahead slightly here. So, anyway, so uh, misappropriating uh, from two different organizations. Uh, I'm going to give you some names here. Uh, Davis, I don't know who Davis is, was the executive director of Mississippi Department of Human uh, Services as part of the alleged scheme after federal funds were issued to MDHS. Davis directed MDHS to subgrant the funds to two non-profit organizations, Family Resource Center of North Mississippi and Mississippi Community Education Center, which were operated by Webb and New, respectively, to other people involved. Davis then alleged that... Uh, allegedly directed Webb and New to award sham contracts to various individuals and entities purportedly for the delivery of social services, including at least five sham contracts that were awarded to Ted DiBiase Jr.'s companies, Priceless Ventures, LLC, and Familia Orientum, LLC. And it's further alleged in the indictment under these sham contracts, FRC and MCEC provided millions of dollars in federal funds to MDHS, to DBSE and his companies for social services that DBSE did not provide and did not intend to provide. DBSE allegedly used these federal funds to buy a vehicle and a boat and for the down payments on the purchase of a house, among other expenditures. Uh, Very uh, right at the end, it says maximum penalty of 20 years in prison for each wire fraud count and maximum penalty of 10 years in prison for each count of theft concerning programs, receiving federal funds for each count of money laundering. So he could really go away for the rest of his life here. Good. I don't think he will. But so what he did, folks, is he he got this position where he could allocate funds to go to different organizations that he controlled. They were sham organizations, right? Mm. No, I think he... Well, 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 his businesses were... I mean, they were legally... Uh, uh, businesses, but they were offered sham contracts to these comp- these shell companies that Ted DiBiase Jr. had, where instead of giving the money away to where they should have gone, he just kept the money for himself. And some of these other people named in this indictment, they all shared well, in the profits. If they've gone this far with it, I think they know about it. And I think he may be going away. Now, Ted... Ted DiBiase was named this one of these suits. Mm-hmm. Has his kind of faded in the background? He's not been brought up at the moment. His other son, Brett, I think, pled guilty. And then Ted DiBiase. I thought, he, I, tur- I thought he turned state's evidence. Did he? I don't know. Oh, so he was a rat. Well, well he I wouldn't himself. go as far as calling him a rat. But when you ran out your family, <laughs> I mean that that's pretty that's that's pretty low. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you think Daddy's so, going to be indicted? In and is and is from the state of Mississippi too, which they don't have a lot of money. Poorest, so poorest state in the union. It is a poorest state, and it always has been. I don't know why, but I, I've never seen anybody. Oh, I want to go live in Mississippi. <laughs> I don't. You don't hear that a lot. Yes. It's like, I want to go to Florida. I want to go to Virginia or Texas or never heard anybody say, I'm dying to go live in Mississippi. Never heard that. 